Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Bootstrap 5 tutorial series. In today's episode, we are going to learn how to change the background color of the navbar on user scroll. One of the good design implementations in modern applications that when user scrolls the page, you change the background of the navbar to highlight the CTA or some important menu. Let's get started without wasting time. Let's code. <coughs> Alright, so I'm creating a new file inside the folder. I'm going to call it change navbar background.html. We'll start the, with the basic one, which is to create the HTML structure. We have the HTML, we have the head and the body tag. Since we need the body uh, to be a little longer because we need to scroll it, right? So I'm going to make it 1500 pixel. In the head, I'm going to make it relevant style sheet. And then we will add the CDN links here for the link. Same way, we'll add the script and we'll type type text slash javascript and we'll add source which is the cdn link and close it okay for the navbar and the link let's head over to get bootstrap.com copy the cdn links copy the css link this is the fastest way you can include bootstrap in your projects <coughs> that's for the css for the js copy the js file you don't need jquery with bootstrap 5 so only bootstrap.js you'll copy all right so we have the basic code that we need and now we need a navbar because we are working with navbar to change the color so search for navbar take the basic uh, thing that's available let's say this one copy it here and then go and paste it in the code and just for the sake, I'll add Welcome to Art Tutorials Bootstrap 5 Tutorial Series and I'll copy it multiple times just to get the page scroll and to see some content. That's all. Alright, now I will head over to my reveal in Finder to launch it in the browser. <coughs> so we have the content, we have the navbar Let's just scroll it. When you're scrolling, the navbar is also getting scrolled. Let's use the class called fixed hyphen top with the navbar to make it fixed. And now when I scroll, the navbar is fixed. Now, what we want is that we want to ch be able to change the background color of the navbar. So we'll write some custom style and define a class. We'll call it navbar scroll. And in the background color, let's add aquamarine. That's for the CSS. So we will add this class on user scroll. So our code in the script, JavaScript, we will write type text slash JavaScript. And here we'll write window dot add event listener. The event listener will be scroll. Whenever user scrolls, we'll define a function that will be triggered. And first thing we'll do is to target that navbar. So we will say navbar equal to document dot query selector get by the class name dot navbar because that is the class name. You can see here navbar is referred with the class navbar. So once we have the element, the next thing we'll do is check for window dot scroll y if it's greater than say 2 what we need to do navbar dot class list dot add add the class that we defined which is navbar scroll if it is not we'll reset it back by saying navbar dot class list dot remove the class name this is a custom class that we just defined at the top <coughs> this one head back and refresh nothing happens now user scrolls the page and still not see anything let's see what's happening in the code and we have the class name which is navbar scroll uh, that's good and let's check what is happening with the javascript here we have added navbar scroll 
let's see if it's the same class name yes that's the same class name so this is good and so we got window dot scroll y is should be greater than and we are getting the nav bar and we are adding class list so this is good uh, should be greater than 2 if yes we are adding the class name okay perfect let's see or let's ready uh, increase that value and say greater than 1 okay let's check what's happening with in the console you can inspect it if something is going wrong or not so you can do that by clicking on this let's go ahead add a so window dot scroll is now coming 6.5 which is greater than that so it goes to the next okay and the reason we are not seeing is because bootstrap by default will not allow you to add it so we have to add important that's the important piece so now see it's greater than one so it's so I'm going to reset it back so that make it two so by by default when you refresh it's white now when user starts to scroll it becomes green again it becomes white so that's the effect we want which is on user scroll navbar is now showing different color I hope it's clear please do give it a try and stay tuned for more such tutorials if you like my work and tutorials please do consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash arc tutorials thank you so much for joining in this episode i hope you enjoy such small tutorials and do let me know if you have any doubts i'll be happy to cover them as well thank you and see you bye